Okay, so now I'm going to work on showing you guys how to do um, some carpet removal. They are going to pull out this carpet and put down a new floor, so I want to take it out in the cleanest way possible. Um, I found over the years that uh, when I'm doing this, I like to use a, util a utility knife, cut through the carpet um, in about five or six foot widths, and then roll the carpet up. Um, once I've got it rolled up, I'm going to wrap some tape around it to keep it in the rolled shut position so that it's easy to carry out of this room and uh, then I'll move along to the next strip. Once I've got the carpet out, then I'll move on to the cushion and roll that up and tape it as well. So um, I've got pliers for once I'm near the edge and got a cut, I can pull the carpet up off of the smooth edge um, that's holding it down there. Um, and then got some gloves. And I really like to wear a respirator when I'm pulling out carpet because you never really know what's in the carpet and it's just a little bit safer. So let's get started. Okay, you can see I've got the carpet removed, um, I've got the undercushion uh, still to be removed. You can see that uh, when you're doing demolitions you find all sorts of interesting things underneath. Um, I've found that they have added this bow or bay window on the side there. It's clearly got a different undercushion than the undercushion that's over on this side so um, that would lead me to believe that this section over here was probably an add-on. Um, after this house was originally built and um, and yeah so now I'm gonna uh, pull off the undercushion and sometimes you find another floor under there or hardwood floor that's been covered or something like that so be interesting to see what we what we find
Okay, so I've got the undercushion removed. You can see that um, there is a finished floor underneath that undercushion. Yeah, it looks to me like a VC VCT tile, like a vinyl composite tile, uh, very thin material. Um, you, at this point, need to assess what you're going to do. If you're going to reinstall carpet, you could probably go right over top of this again. If you were going to do hardwood or ceramic tile or so any sort of tile, you're going to need to strip this out and put a proper subfloor down. Um, one cause for concern with these type of tiles that you can see here is that uh, there was a time where they were using asbestos in these floor tiles and um, when you're demoing out tiles like this it could put off asbestos fibers into the air which is a hazardous material, very hazardous to your health. Um, so you can take a piece, uh, try not to break it. You can see here I could get this piece out without, uh, without breaking it. Then I could bring this into someone that will be able to tell me if it contains asbestos or not. Uh, then I would have to move forward either by being able to remove it myself because it contained no asbestos or hire a hazmat removal company to come in and take this stuff out properly. So just some stuff to be aware of when you're doing floor removal that um, there was a time that they made harmful tiles containing asbestos that could be harmful to your health. You need to really make sure what you're doing when you're doing renovations like this. Okay, so I've got all my cushion out and carpet out and smooth edge off around the perimeter. Now you're left with your final task which is to remove these staples. Um, they use these staples to attach the under cushion down and uh, before you can get started with any new floor and for safety issues you should get them all out. Um, there's a couple methods, just pull them out with pliers one at a time, using a screwdriver getting underneath them, pulling them out. Um, anyways, it's a long boring task, it's probably going to take a few hours just to get this little room completely clear. Um, another method I have seen in the past is using like a metal shovel with a flat edge on it and just smashing into the staples and that sometimes will pull them out. So you can just, uh, or use a putty knife and try to do that, but that's going to be pretty hard on your wrists and um, you might just want to resort to using a pair of pliers and a screwdriver and taking one staple at a time.